Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to Beloved Way. This is Amy. Today and for the next few days, I'm going to show everybody how to practice a very popular Chinese Qigong exercise. It is called Ba Duan Jing, or Eight Brocade and people practice in China from 5 years old to 105. So this is very good for our health and enhances our body, enhances our qi, and it's good for longevity. So in China, we believe that a person is holistic. It is part of the whole as a nature. So we follow the nature cycle. So in the spring, if you look at the tree, it sprouts. In the summer, it flourishes. And in autumn, it harvests and in the winter it stores. So in the winter, we don't believe to have too much excessive exercise or sweat too much because your body is storing and you are flourishing the root system. So we do this a brocade. It's a kind of like slow, almost like a Tai Chi-ish or slow ballet-ish and it stretches our body, stretch our sinews. So this is a good for our longevity and for our health in general. So for uh, right now, I'm going to show everybody at first how this each posture just two times and you can follow me, you can watch. And for the next few days, each day, I'm going to teach each one of the postures and you can follow me. And at the end, we'll do an exercise together and hopefully you will like that. First, I'm going to do a demonstration and I'm going to practice each posture two times. You can watch me or just practice with me. There's no worries, just enjoy and have fun. And there's no perfection. All we can do is practice each day and try to be better than the day before. And so this, watch your body, feel your body, and hopefully in four weeks or two months, then you will see a significant difference with how you feel. Eight, brocade. First posture, raise two hands to push up the sky to regulate the three gel. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Hold two hands in front of your belly button. Raise up. To the heart level, flip over, look up to the sky, stretch, look forward, continue stretch, spread your wings, down, breathe out, go back to your belly button level, raise up the hand, Flip at the heart level, push up, stretch, 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 look forward, spread your wings, come down. Number two posture, open up your bows and shoot the arrows at your target. First, go to the horse stance, cross our hands. Open your bow and arrow. See your target? Release your arrow and shoot. Circle your hand toward the sky. Close your feet. Cross your hands. Step in a horse stance. Open up your bow and arrow. Look at your target. Shoot and release. Hands circle around and we close. Number three, tonify our stomach and spleen by single lifting. Open your feet, shoulder width apart, raise up from your belly button. Your right hand push up the sky your left hand press down to the earth. You're in between earth and heaven. You push up and down. Then lower. They cross in your heart level. And your left hand push up the sky. And right hand push down on the earth. Do it again. Cross over at our heart level. 
Right hand up like a tray, push up the sky, and left hand push down the earth. Come back, cross at the heart level, push up with your right hand, push down with your left hand. That's a third posture. Number four posture, relieve stress and fatigue by looking backwards. Hands up, swing back, look back almost at the very, very back stretch. Face forward, come down. Hands lifted up, flip over, look in the back. Twist your neck as far as you can. Almost look at the heel of your other feet. Imagine that. Hands down. Hands up. Look back, stretch, stretch, stretch. Flying, receiving. Hands down. Raise your arm up. Spread your wings. Look back, stretch your neck, shoulder. Hands come down. Fifth posture. Step on the horse stance. Feel your weight. Turn left. Circle right. Circle, circle, circle. Return to the middle. Shake your head and swing your tail. Turn right, circle around. The sixth posture is to climb up your feet and to tonify your kidneys. Hands up, lower down to your shoulder level, cross over through your axilla and massage the back to lower back the hamstring down and then step to our feet front our feet scoop up raise up breathe in breathe out to our shoulder level armpit level cross over massage your back your bottom your hamstring keep on going down and then turn your hands over to the front of your feet and then scoop up using your waist. Use your waist for the raising up and come down. The seventh is to really open up your eyes really big and to give you more force, okay? More power. So here we go horse stance again. Have your hand in a fist. And look at your hand when you push up. You feel the force going up. Breathe out. Open your hand, shake your hand, then grab, turn, and look at your hand, come down. Again, it's like push over. Open your hand and turn the circle and receive and come back to your liver area. Push your hand, eyes follow your hand, push over, open your hand, circle, receive, push over, open, circle, receive. This is supposed to increase your energy. The last posture, the eighth posture, is seven times to help you help you with your longevity, to get rid of all the illness. So you shake out all your disease, everything, shake and come down. Do it seven times. Lift your heels, shake and come down. So that's the entire eight brocades. I will demonstrate each posture one at a time.